direction Take a step to dreams Faith in action Hi, I'm Faith in Action, and welcome to another episode of What's Good Indy. My guest today is former guard number 11, Yogi Ferrell, and his dad, Kevin Ferrell. And Yogi and Kevin are going to tell us about how he not just plays on the field, but how he plays in the community. Yogi and Kevin, welcome to the show. Thanks for Thanks having us. Yes. Okay, so this is a father joint adventure, and like I said, we have the Kevin Ferrell Foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, where did that derive from? Where did that come from, the, the opportunity to have a foundation to help other people? Well, I think, um, you know, one day Yogi and I started talking about different ways that he can give back. And uh, so we kind of talked about uh, some of the different outfits and organizations that were out there. And, uh, you know, it was, it was one, of the, one, of the, one of his ideas that, you know, he wanted to partner up with Special Olympics. Yeah, I mean, just growing up, you know, seeing disabled kids especially them, just not having the same opportunity that I had. I feel like I've been blessed by God to have the ability that he's given me to play this game. And it's opened a lot of doors for me, a lot of opportunities for me. So, you know, with my heart, I felt like there was a way for me to kind of give back to them to try and make them feel as special as I felt and that have them have that same feeling that I felt when I played that game. Okay, now recently you just had a camp for the Special Olympians. Um, how did they respond and, uh, you know, what sport, I mean, of course, you play basketball, and how did you divide the teams up? Like, how was that sport for them? I think it was fun. You know, me and my IU teammates, we went down there around January, and we just put them through a lot of drills, basketball drills that I used to do growing up as a kid, and I felt like they had a lot of fun doing that, going against, you know, with my guys teaching them what they need to do, and... You know, we had a scrimmage towards the end of the camp, and we played five on five. So it was me and some of my other teammates. We were subbing each other in, and we were playing against some of the disabled kids. And, you know, you got the whole whole gym filled up with the disabled kids, you know, their families, parents. So, I mean, it was a fun event. And, you know, we were letting them score on us and everything. And everybody was just <laughs> cheering. And, you know, we just felt like that was really special for us to go out there and do that for them. Okay, and that was at Park Tudor. Yeah, that was, okay. that was at Park Tudor. So, um, yeah, you have a passion for Special Olympians. Now, will that be the only organization that you're, the foundation is going to work with, or will you guys work with other um, organizations as well? I think we will venture off and work with other organizations down the road. Uh, still right now, we're still in the building process of the foundation. So, as of right now, we're just going to try and look to do many more camps with Special Olympics and with basketball. and. You know, maybe down the road we'll venture off to other organizations. So what is your biggest role in the foundation? Uh, well, my biggest role is just to, to be a supporting cast. Uh, you know, be there for my son. Uh, I mean, we got we got quite a joy out of uh, like the, like I said, like the camp. Uh, you know, one of the biggest joys for me uh, in that was that the people who volunteered, which we had great volunteers. You know, when we, when we kind of talked after the camp and you know, we kind of discussed some of the different things that they enjoyed, you know, one of the, um, one of the camp counselors said that one of the special needs kids came up and asked him for his autograph. Oh. And I mean, that kind of, you can just tell that that, that, that touched his heart. Yes. And, you know, and it's being able to do things like that. that I mean, when you, when you, when you create a memory mm. and, and plant something in somebody's head that they take away forever, yes. I mean, that's, it's priceless. Yes. So, uh, you know, just, just, you know, I'm happy to be involved and, you know, just, just here to help out. And speaking of memories, um, what's next for the foundation? What other memories do you guys want to impact with the community? What's next for the Kevin Farrell Foundation? Well, I think I think the next thing for the foundation is again just to be able to have another camp. Have another camp. Uh, you know, we haven't actually narrowed it down and to, okay. to see what we're going to do with that. Uh, Yogi's schedule is quite busy, so uh, I mean it's going to kind of kind of depend on some of that. Okay. Uh, but that's kind of the next thing that we're going to do, and he's going to do some small things as well. Uh, may even have an AAU team okay. uh, in the future, uh, special needs kids. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, like I said, any opportunity we can give back mm -hmm. is uh, kind of what we're looking to do. Well, how can we, the community, assist in the Kevin Pearl Foundation? How can we get in contact with you? How can we send in donations? What can we do in the community to help out? Well, you can find us at uh, www.kevinpearlcares.org. Mm -hmm. uh, that's K-E-V-I-N-F-E-R-R-E-L-L. -L. Cares with the K A R E S, 
www.ghanaspeaks.org, uh, and that's where you, that's our website, and you can go to the website, and you can see you know some pictures of the the camp and some of the other things. We did the polar plunge uh, for special needs. And what's as well. the polar plunge? Well, the polar plunge is uh, they had it out at uh, Eagle Creek. Okay. And uh, it was where they cut the ice. Oh. Okay. And you actually jump in the ice. Oh, uh, to raise my own special needs. You want me doing that? <laughs> oh, wow. Yep, and we also did, uh, we also have done um, three on three basketball for okay. uh, special needs as well. Okay. Uh, so, you know, we're just, just trying to, you know, raise some money, you know, for special needs and just an opportunity to give back. Okay. Well, I think that you are doing a great job um, with helping, you know, with your son. A lot of uh, kids when they grow up, they just think about the sport. They mm -hmm. don't think about giving back. Right, so with right. him doing it as early as it is his college, mm -hmm. I think that's a great solid uh, foundation with a father-son venture. Um, but you know, before we go, I just have to ask this question. Now, Yogi, if you could choose a team to play for, who would you play for? <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna answer that. You guys are gonna, you guys will have to tune in because we know that the former IU number eleven guard is being sought after right now. But uh, I'm sure you're gonna tell me first. I'll tell you first. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Y'all okay. see that you heard it here first on Faith and Action. What, what's good, Indy? I'm gonna know what's good with Yogi and the foundation. Okay, so That's thank right. you guys for joining. Thank you so much. Thank it's, you. it's been a pleasure. And again, check out the Kevin Farrell Cares Foundation. Go to his website. And more importantly, just continue to watch What's Good Indy because there are a lot of good things going on in Indy. And that's Faith in Action. Absolutely. Toodles. Thank you. Faith in Action. Take a step to dreams. Faith in action.